In this video, we'll learn uh, about the settings menu um, and some different things that you can do with inside it. Uh, so there's a couple ways that you can access your settings menu. Uh, the first way is down by your clock. If you just click in that area, you'll see a gear uh, that says settings. You can click that and that will launch your settings menu. Another way is if you just go to the internet, so we're going to click the little Google beach ball looking thing, the icon. And if I bring up the internet, uh, there, you have what's called a hot dog menu right underneath your X, those three little lines. If I click that and go down to the word settings, it's going to bring me to the same exact location that I was a second ago. So what are some things you can do inside here? There's, there's all kinds of things you can do. We're just going to go through a few basic ones. Uh, the first one is setting your wi or, uh, Wi-Fi network and choosing it. So you can see we have a title here, Internet Connection. And from here, I have a drop-down menu where I can choose uh, available networks. You can also access that, uh, your Wi-Fi networks, just right here uh, in that little launcher by the clock. The second thing is setting your appearance. Um, so if you want to set your wallpaper, you can click on that button. Um, and choose different things to customize your wallpaper. Another thing is if I scroll down, it looks like my menu, my settings menu is complete, um, but there's a little blue uh, words down at the bottom say show advanced settings. When I click that, it's actually just going to open more settings. And I think the cool one, if you keep scrolling, is the one right here that says on startup. So what this means is when you uh, turn on your Chromebook in the morning, uh, you have the a few options. Right now, mine is set to continue where I left off. So if I had, you know, five different things open, um, at the end of the day, I just shut mine down. The next day I came in, when I turn it on, those same five things would be available to me. Um, you also have the option to set it to specific pages. So let's say it's uh, when you come in, the first thing you do is you check your, your email or you go to a specific website or you go to your drive and it's just part of your morning routine. Um, you can set those pages if you click the word that says set pages. Uh, this is just a little search bar, so you can you can uh, either copy and paste or you can start to search right here. So let's say you you go to gmail.com uh, every morning, so you can see it's, it's popping up for me. So as soon as I click it, uh, it puts it as a startup page. Uh, you can enter as many as you want there, uh, and then just click OK when you're finished. Uh, and this, so the next time when you boot up your computer, uh, it will open up as a tab at the top. One thing about the settings menu, um, you every setting menu is different. So I guess the tip would be when you make a, a change in a settings menu, no matter where you are, look for a save button, either at the top or the bottom. In this case, there is nothing to save. It does save automatically. But again, certain setting menus, depending on what application you're in, you do have to save. Um, so I can just uh, X that out. But before I do, I wanted to show you one other thing. Uh, another feature in the settings menu is a search bar at the top. Um, so let's say you, you come back in and you couldn't remember where something was. So if I just search for setup, um, I'm sorry, startup, not setup, startup, uh, it's going to find those words startup for me. Uh, in the settings menu and that goes for anything maybe you get a pop-up about cookies and you don't know that where that is it's going to show you where the word cookies uh, is layered in the settings menu uh, so that was just a quick video uh, about different things you can do in the settings menu